Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome, my name is Christine. So today we have a fun little video and I'm gonna show you five tips to help elevate your style game. I've been thinking about doing this video for a while now. These are just five general rules to help me elevate my style game, so I hope this video is helpful. Go ahead and link all the outfits down below and if this video is helpful and you wanna see more content like this, make sure you thumbs up this video. Quick disclaimer for this video, these are just quick little style tips that have really elevated my style game. Some of these rules obviously are Breakable, and I myself don't follow these rules to a T, but just general guidelines to kind of help you. So the first style swap that I would make is to swap out your basic white sneakers from some cool sneakers. There's nothing wrong with this first outfit. It's cute, it's nice, but it is basic. I used to reach for a white sneaker all the time because obviously they go with everything. There's nothing wrong with that, but swapping them for a cooler sneaker with a nicer silhouette, something a little bit more unique, kind of street style, just really takes up your outfit a notch. That doesn't mean you have to spend a lot on sneakers either. I'll link some cool sneakers down below that are under $150. I just think swapping out the white basic sneakers really makes such a difference. It kind of forces you to almost step outside of your comfort zone as well and pair some different outfits with sneakers that aren't super easy to style, you know what I mean? Next style swap, I feel like this might be controversial, is to let go of the ankle cropped jeans or pants and I feel like there is definitely a time and place for these type of pants and this fit especially for the office if you kind of have to dress like office wear appropriate I think these type of pants are great but for everyday style I just don't find that they're as fun or easy to style as a more oversized pant I actually have been reaching for a lot of Brandon's jeans as well just because I like the baggier fit of jean I feel like it's more fun to style you can wear it with heels sneakers boots I just feel like it's so much more versatile and the ankle crop pant to me just kind of shortens your legs it's not super flattering and you can't really wear them with sneakers as well i just don't really like the way that it looks with sneakers so if you're trying to elevate your street style game and kind of pull off a more cool girl look i definitely think reaching for a more straight leg baggier pant kind of gives you that vibe next style swap and this is a rule i've talked about before on my tiktok is if you're wearing a small top pair it with big bottoms if you're wearing a big top wear it with small bottoms i don't really wear a tight top with tighter bottoms as much so i would instead swap out the skinny jeans for some baggier pants and this outfit is so cute i would definitely wear this out it's much more comfortable i feel like there's much more balance as well and if you're wearing a tighter top and you pair it with baggier bottoms i feel like it also helps to bring a little bit of emphasis to your waist elongates your legs i just feel like this is so much more of a flat flattering outfit but this is definitely a style rule that I follow a lot I actually threw on a trench over this outfit and this is kind of like one of the rule breakers I guess is to wear baggy on baggy and I think that this looks good even though it breaks that style rule because the top is more tighter fitting if we go back to the first tight on tight outfit you can actually make this work by throwing something baggy over top in this case i just threw on the same trench and you can see portions look so much better and more balanced but i personally think that we can do a lot better than this especially once you take off the jacket you kind of lose a big part of the outfit i also pop on some examples here from my instagram of where i kind of followed this rule but again there are exceptions to this all the time. There are certain times where I wear tight top, tight bottom. Oftentimes, I reach for a small top, big bottom because that's my favorite. I love adding a lot of emphasis to my waist. I feel like a baggier bottom also makes you look a little bit curvier, which obviously never hurts. Helps to lengthen your legs as well, and I just feel like it gives you more of a cooler, effortless street style vibe. Next style swap is to commit to a jacket length. So this isn't really like a swap, I guess, like the rest of the other tips. But here I have on a plain black blazer, which is not a bad blazer. I love this blazer for years. It's from H&M. This is great for the office, but this is a little bit more of a fitted blazer. It's not cropped and it's not oversized. Now we're comparing it to this gray blazer that I have from Drift Avenue that is much more oversized. Kind of a boxier fit. You can see the shoulders come out a little bit more and the sides are just a little bit more straight, whereas the black blazer was a little bit more fitted and tapered. I feel like committing to an oversized fit 
or something ultra cropped just looks much more intentional and stylish you bought this piece because of the way that it fits and you love the way that it looks versus just like your average h&m blazer you know what i mean then i have this crop jacket from chloe that i thrifted and i love this jacket because it is the perfect crop fit i always have a great use for crop jackets especially in the warmer seasons i also have so many trench coats that i love that are long and oversized and i just feel like they look so much more cooler that way versus something that just fits you kind of standard and basic then we're actually going to take this outfit it's not a bad fit i would definitely wear this out but i think that it's missing some items and the last style swap that i'll talk about is to elevate a basic fit is to add accessories i always talk about the three-piece rule if you have like a basic outfit just to add a couple of extra pieces to kind of make it complete so in this case we can add on a beanie and a scarf throw on a purse and you have a cute little fit if i saw someone wearing this versus the plainer more basic outfit i would definitely think the latter is more stylish and in seasons where it's not super cold where you don't want to throw on a beanie and a scarf you can always just throw on some accessories a purse some cool sneakers maybe even top it off with a hat and i feel like you already have a much more elevated sophisticated looking outfit i also always have accessories on and this also counts as like the third piece to your outfit it helps to just add a little bit of interest and make you look not so basic and of course always have a bag on me as well and here that sneaker spot really comes in handy because it really just helps bring a lot more interest to the outfit versus if you're just wearing it with like basic white shoes another tip that helped me with accessorizing as well is to match either your shoes to your bag your belt to your bag or your belt to your shoes these are my quick little style swaps i've been following that have helped me a lot with my style game especially with traveling i've been taking a lot of capsule wardrobes with me kind of learning how i can mix and match different outfits together to pull together a look so i hope these tips were helpful i'll link all the outfits down below if you want to see more style videos or tip videos like this from me thumbs up this video and let me know down below in the comments what you want to see next i'll see you guys in the next video bye